Welcome to the 2020 Interfaith Solidarity March LA. But we've come a long way since we first began to plan our marches in the fall of 2015. It is through events like these that we have come together, united, not divided, by our differences and extend love to all of humanity. I am not a pacifist. I practice active nonviolence. That's the most powerful weapon for change making. My hope is that this difficult period will bring us closer together, will increase our bonds of solidarity, will help us to find a deeper understanding and appreciation of our friends and those who may not be our friends, those who are like us and those who may not be like us, because we all share that bond of humanity. This past summer, we saw with the death of George Floyd, the renewal of calls for, for, for justice, for equity, uh, that, that racial inequalities in America, uh, some, many times at the hands of law enforcement in our past, including that of the Los Angeles Police Department, has, has called for true and lasting reform. Let us look beyond how each and every one dresses, be it religious garments or uniforms. Let us look beyond the color of our skins. God had a reason for our differences, for us to learn from one another. Truth must be told, but truth by itself is not enough. When truth is heard, told, and acknowledged, we must then learn from it. And then, having learned from it together, then we must decide how are we going to act to repair the hurt and the harm and the pain that has been done. How are we prepared, if you will, to redeem the past? We can't go back and do it over again, but how are we prepared to redeem the past by creating together, all of us creating together, a new future? To be woke is not to believe in certain things. It's to be aware of what's going on, how we are being manipulated, and when we are uninformed or mistaken. The inherent worth and dignity of every person, the close kinship of all people and all life down to the shared DNA in ourselves, the imperative of sustaining the precious gift that is our living planet. If this era seems dark at times, the real promise of daylight will come from the illumination of our unity and compassion for all humanity. Let us have the courage, love and faith to know we are the dawning of this new day be uncomfortable. There's a lot of time to be divisive. There's a lot of time to argue, but there's not enough time to keep us all afloat. We are all in the same storm and in our many boats, and it does not help us when we strike each other's boats down. Let us all open our hearts and minds and allow the natural compassion of our shared one body to inspire us as we live together, pray together, meditate together, and support one another. Let's stop out hate and differences and disparities and let's love each other. Let's change this world because our hearts will be changed. They will not be terrorized for being Rohingya, Uyghur, for praying in a Pittsburgh synagogue, or for biking while black. As we join here today, we're proving that people of all faiths all races, all genders and gender identities can work together to build a better America and a better life for all. As refugees, you have entered a new chapter in your life. It is filled with new adventures, memories, and friendships. We are here. We are people who care about your future. My parish here in Los Angeles, and most of our parishes are made up of refugees, people who came from Iraq, from Iran, people who we have seen firsthand persecutions, we have seen prejudice, we have seen uh, uh, racist uh, people who have uh, truly uh, wanting to hurt others for whatever reason. So we've learned so much firsthand of what it feels like to be uh, persecuted because of your race or, or your ethnicity or your faith. And while social media has opened up myriad ways for people to communicate and interact with others across the world, it also tends to promote tribalism and polarization. 
One of the things we have tried to do by bringing together diverse voices in these interfaith marches is to encourage peaceful change and reconciliation through respectful sharing and consideration of ideas. Too bad we can't be together in person, but next best thing, uh, we're at this beautiful event together and uh, we'll be presenting New Day, a video that hopefully uplifts you. If humanity is going to, to survive and thrive through pandemics, global warming, civil unrest, and violent reactions to our cultural and societal differences, we are going to have to see and respect the common shared humil humanity in each other and refrain from demonizing each other. Where do we want it to go? Our work now is what will help our species and our planet to survive that long. On behalf of the Planning Committee, I just want to take a moment to thank the almost 200 people who are here watching with us today, as well as all of our panelists and attendees. You are making this unusual event truly special, and we are so grateful that all of you are here.